true believers. Welcome to another episode of Wait, Did I Roll a Wild? In my World Crisis Protocol of Vlog, I am your host, Big Chuck. And this week I am joined with the CEO, editor in chief, Supreme Ruler, and Reptilian Overlord of the Professional Casual Network, Tim. Hello. As uh, well. I am Tim. As well as the Majestic One, Danny Fortime herself. Danny, welcome to the show. Hello. Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us this week at Wait Did I Roll a Wild, brought to you by the Professional Casual Network. Are you need me to talk louder? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, boys, let's party! <laughs> Guys. That's more like <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> we are cranked right up. I've got some spider blood in my veins. Hmm. Because there is a guy on the hunt. Other euphemisms for Craven the Hunter card dropped. Let's let's go over what we're going to talk about this week. Uh, you guys fucking played a game. We got a fucking card. We got a fucking panel to play about a reptile. And we got some leaks and a panel to play about a fucking bird and a giant mech suit. Let's talk about some shit. I mean, I've had two kids. I have a lot of leaks. I'm sorry. It's fine. Mm. It's Ooh. hot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so as far as games played this past week, yeah. Um I showed up to a game. That's great. I'm so happy. Yeah. Uh a game happened. Uh -huh. and I, I really don't think there's all that much to discuss about it. I think it's uh it, it happened and we just need to deal with it and, and move <laughs> on. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I don't feel like, you know, leading up to that game, yeah, that there was really much uh, going on either uh, mm -hmm. to discuss, so I think we should probably just uh, sweep it on, uh, sweep it on out. So I know the the night of the trash talk. I know Chuck, you got numerous videos from Tim. I did. A I did a lot of videos. Highly intoxicated. Yeah. Uh, once again, i those videos <laughs> oh were deleted God. very quickly once I was awake the next day. They weren't. They're still on my phone. Yeah. Uh <laughs> are they? Yeah. <laughs> did I delete um, them just for me? Yes you did, sir. They are still on my phone. I believe the exact term was I'm going to make you eat dirt. You are going to eat so much dirt. I am going to stomp you into the ground uh -huh. where you will then eat dirt. Uh -huh. um, and then upon, you know, when we started the game, right. it's on video where he was like, you're going to eat dirt. And I said, only if it's in like the cupcake form yeah, with, the, sure. with, yeah, the worms. with the worms. Yeah. And there, there wasn't any pudding. And then he's like, there will be pudding, but there's actual dirt on top. And I'm like, whatever. There was no pudding with dirt or fake dirt. It's not here yet. I've been busy. <laughs> whatever. Wow. Fine. Whatever. You get to eat it. Cross off that last segment. <laughs> <laughs> nope. We're not doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> um. Look, how did it go? It was fun. Specifically, Danny, really how did fun. it go? So, all right. So Tim ran Criminal Syndicate. I ran as Guardians. Real quick, do you play anything that isn't Crime Syndicate or? Yeah, sometimes I play Brotherhood for a month straight. Okay, <laughs> fine to make sure. <laughs> or Spider Foes, right? You play them some once. I played one of them once. Yeah, no. Yeah. 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 Um, I do have to say, and Taylor Thrillash Gaming himself called me out on his Green Goblin painting stream that I take a lot of help from the stream, which is true because mm -hmm. I'm still new. Mm -hmm. Because you know, Danny Four Time. Because I've played four times. Right. right. That's it. So, and he was like, maybe next time you should not do that. And I was like, maybe you're level two now, Zeresk. Wow. Wow. I would never do that. I would never let shows bleed into other shows. Um, but oh. he did bring up a really good point. I got a lot of like input. But to my credit, a couple of the suggestions that people made, I was already thinking of doing. Right. And I, it was just that like verification that like, all right, if the war gaming dad thinks this is a good idea then obviously i'm gonna do it mm -hmm. right well and and also in your defense too not only there was a lot of conflicting advice too mm. so you kind of had to weed through you know some mc1 gamer saying to do this while wargaming dad was also saying to do that but then also giving you three power too by spending channel points right while then mc1 gamer would then spend his channel points separately Yes. To give you three additional <laughs> power. True. You got power too, though. Uh, 
it was it was it was pity power and I mean, whatever it, it power, turned is power into, baby turned into zero success <laughs> <laughs> oh but, um but i did uh table tim i did get tabled twice now twice now yeah i was so scared he showed up with six models uh-huh. i had four i was so scared Real, real scared. So wait, what did you run? I had Asgard, so I had Thor, yeah, Hela, uh-huh. uh, Enchantress, and then I ran uh, Scarlet Witch as well. Oh, yeah. Who got, oh. who got KO'd? Oh, Scarlet yeah, Witch probably KO'd. a really smart idea. Yep. Yeah. That is a beat stick list. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Yeah. That is a lot of pain. Mm-hmm. It felt yeah. like a lot of pain. Yeah. That seems like a lot coming at you at once. Yeah. 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 How did how did Hella do for you? She, oh my God, she was so good. <sighs> See? That was the right he, call. Yeah. Like really? straight up, he had one damage on him total. Uh-huh. Took him all the way down. Holy shit. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I want to say to the people at home listening, I was debating: do I take Hella? Do I take Loki? And Chuck was like, "Take Hella." Yep. Because Loki's really hard to work with if you can't take an Infinity Stone. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, that's what I'm going to do then. Yeah, and like your your particular list, you you other if you had taken Loki over Hela, then you would have only had one like beater in your list. Yeah, of Thor. So having having Hela and Tim having several experiences of Hela not doing anything for several mm-hmm. games, I wasn't um, worried about Hela at all. Right, I was like, awesome, Hela's there. <laughs> She's not going to do anything. She's definitely not going to murk half my team. Right. You're welcome. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I've, like, I've been setting L. it up for years. Holy you know what I mean? Shit. It was so good. It was really, really. It, yeah. And it felt good to like have a character who I was like, I don't know if I know how to use her. And then right. she just crushed it. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I mean, obviously Thor did well. Enchantress did well. I just need more practice with Scarlet Witch to really be able to use her I mean, adequately. She's a new character that has just a mess of rules. Right. Yeah. 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 So taking her even in your fourth game is pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but are you, um, are you okay? I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Who was it on your team who like took Thor down to like one? Oh, Bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> <Fucking> bullseye. <laughs> bullseye. <laughs> of all characters, Bullseye was the top performer on his team. Uh, how bad was the rest of your team? Uh, so I, I did meme Queen it a little bit, and uh-huh. I was like, I'm gonna pull as many hammers because we played hammers and. Uh, Gamma waves. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to put as many hammers as I fucking can on Bullseye uh-huh. and just see what I can do. Yeah. And it didn't take much. No. Two hammers on Bullseye and he, yeah. was, he was fucking down in people. Everyone was bloody. Mm-hmm. Like wow, he was right. solid. I don't even think that he did like five damage to Thor or something crazy, like a yeah. ton of damage with no hammers. He didn't yeah. even have a hammer at that point. And I was like, oh shit. Like, interesting. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. But yeah, he was incredible. He was everything I wanted him to be. Yep. I, okay. When I started that game, I was like, I'm going to do one of two things. And it's going to either be put a shit ton of hammers on Bullseye. Yeah. Or Toad. <laughs> okay. um, and Toad got murked immediately. So fast. Uh, yeah, he went down like Valkyrie goes down. You know yep. what I mean? Yeah. Super like, fair. Yep. Put his hair in a ponytail and just <laughs> whoop, gone. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I threw Kingpin into him twice. So. <laughs> Oh, that poor child. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, oh he's God. just a boy. Yeah. Yeah, and he had a very large man thrown on top of him. Oh, uh, he got black dwarfed out of nowhere. That's horrible. Yeah. I did tell Dan, hard. I would like to play a game against him uh-huh. off camera. No stream or anything. Nobody to help. <sighs> and just like see. Can So can I we? Can I don't we, think you don't. I don't think you want non-game face, Tim. Non-presenting to a. A stream, Tim. That no, I want to play Dan. Dan. Oh, yeah. gross! Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, yeah. too. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll find out when they're going to play, and we're going to set cameras up. <laughs> right. No audio, no nothing. Yeah. Just the cameras. Yep. Uh, and It'll be just... JB's uh, Razor flip phone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no audio. Yes. And we'll just uh, you know ten bucks, uh, pay per view. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Because that is going to be hot. I'll just hot fight. Throw all the models up. No, Dan will like delicately move every single model. Get these off the table in five minutes. Hang in. So. <laughs> nice. Yeah. He's got a lot of passion yeah. for the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, bud, <laughs> what do you got? If you watched the stream yesterday, mm -hmm. you got to see Throwlash Gaming himself up against Dan. First time they've played against each other. It's a one on one ever, I think. I think they may have played one teaching game like a long time ago. Yeah. But certainly the first time on stream. Yep. For sure. That is going to be a chaotic. I don't know who to root for. Yeah. Game. I mean, I didn't know who to root for. I made the right choice, though. You did. Mm -hmm. And uh, good on you for yep. making that choice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, took It was brave. I mean, it's hand out. I'm going to call it right now. It's going to be Taylor by round three. He's so good. He's yeah. so good. He's really He's so good. good. And Dan is not prepared. Easily. Yeah. 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 Uh, do we know who Dan is going to play? No, I know they talked about it in the chat, but I can't. Uh, hopefully he plays a beat stick team because Dan usually goes pretty well when he is playing uh, an overly aggressive team. Right. 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 And I think that that just kind of goes with his personality, too, where he's just so like chill all the time that you have to play something very aggressive to kind of. Dan, balance. hyper aggressive, hyper aggressive. Yes. It makes sense. Right. When you look at him, you're like, dude's hyper aggressive. Yeah, I think, holy shit, this man needs to calm the fuck down. Right. <laughs> He's out of control. Yeah. He's a real Aries. Yes. Such mm -hmm. an Aries. Holy yeah. shit. Mm -hmm. Well, head over to twitch.tv slash professional casual network every Monday, 7 p.m. to check that out or check out here on the YouTubes just a little time later. Yeah. And you can see the videos. Put up. Dan is playing either Guardians or Spider Foes. Ugh. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's a that's unfortunate. So just to follow up for some more stream news, um, yeah. we have gotten a little bit more information on who's going to be playing what in oh the league in the league and uh want to have a quick meeting. Uh, how are we? Are we going to be recording on the sixteenth and then, or are we going to live stream that on the sixteenth? On this, oh, we're gonna record it. Okay, so yeah. never mind. This was a joke. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but there will be a video coming right. out uh, in the days. next day, perhaps. And, and, <laughs> and I said it, so it's canon. I'm not doing that. <laughs> editing right. it overnight. Sorry. Um, what it was. We're just right? gonna do it perfectly. This isn't the professional professional <laughs> network, <laughs> right? The but uh, network. where we have all the players that are going to be in the league. Yep. Uh, going over their rosters, what the team, uh, what tactics cards they're bringing, what affiliations they can make, and uh, a whole bunch of shit talking. I'm already interested in where Taylor is going mm -hmm. um, because he's bringing a uh, spoiler. He's already mentioned that he's bringing Wakanda. Yeah. And Wakanda Forever is not in his tactics cards list. Oh, uh, that's a uh, glaring oversight. Yeah. I don't know how he's. That seems that. dumb. Yeah. It sounds like a dumb move. His list. I'm not complaining. Yeah. You know, but yeah. it sounds like a dumb move. Uh, he is running Criminal Syndicate as well, though. So no, he's he... running Spider Foes as well. Yeah. And, oh, he, and he's taking all accord or he's taking well laid plans over Wakanda forever. So unless he just plans on running them the whole time mm -hmm. with a little bit of filler here and there of I I don't know. But then again, he's an enigma. Half the things I he comes up with, I'm just like, there's no way this is gonna work. And then he makes it fucking work. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, oh, okay, I guess I'm just dumb, which mm -hmm. yes. can confirm at this point. And he's so cute that you're like, he can't possibly nobody That's, that cute can be such a threat. It's very disarming. Mm -hmm. It's those nipples. Oh my god. And now he got that cyst removed from on top of his head. So right. like he has just a nice round head. Mm-hmm. It's real cute. Yep. Like a little thumbprint in that yeah, skull. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I still haven't figured out what I'm bringing. I should probably do that at some point. Yeah. I uh, have a team name, even. I'm so dedicated right. to what I'm bringing. So, what are you doing? I am doing the bottom mm -hmm. 10 mm -hmm. characters chosen in the most recent online tournament season for Xavier Protocols for mm -hmm. season five. Right. Uh, so this includes people like Ultron, mm -hmm. Iron Man, mm -hmm. uh, and surprisingly, a lot of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So that is so in that bottom 10, uh, which I am calling the power bottom 10. <laughs> I can make Guardians of the Galaxy. So that will be my affiliation. And there's there's some I think there's some bangers in there. Ronan's in there who I really like. Gamora. 
Um, that's most of them. Star Lord. Star Lord. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not overwhelmed with Star Lord. So here's my question. Yes. Are you taking nine plus a gem? Nope. So you're just gonna I'm run taking the bottom bare, ten characters, bare bones. Yeah, but the roster does not include gems. What do you mean? The the list of characters that are taken huh? are not factored in by also taking gems, but gems replace one of your character options. Star Lord effectively is a thousand times better when he gets to bring a power gem. You're right, I'm not doing that. That's dumb. I'm taking the bottom. You 10 might characters. be arguably stupider than Taylor at this point. Wow. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Are we not trash talking yet? Oh, I'm sorry. Not yet. It's <laughs> the 16th. I got to prep myself. Oh, okay. You're going to have to because you're going to eat dirt. <laughs> I am going to intentionally do this before I eat dinner so that I'm going to be hangry. So then you guys are going to... We're going to have to show up with that dirt. There yeah. will be blood in my trash talking because I'm going to be so hungry. Okay. I'll be totally honest. <laughs> blood and dirt do not mix well together. No. Mix, no. mix weird mud. Blood and thunder, though. Actually mm. works out pretty well. Yeah. All right. Oh, mm -hmm. I've also heard that love and thunder. Oh, really victory at sea. Some yes. people call you know blood, love, a little bit of the same thing. You know, can't confirm. Yes. <laughs> um. Look, let's talk about some stuff that isn't this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Craven the Hunter. Yes. Mm. Sergi. Something. I don't know why people. Uh, Can you put? I will give you a dollar if you can correctly pronounce his name. I can pronounce it. No, I didn't say Sergei oh. Nikolovich Kravinov. I hate you. Uh, I don't know why you would try to say all that, though, when you can shorten that name down to Craven the Hunter <laughs> and then shorten that name down to just Hunter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And what is Spider-Man's most deadly foe? We got flagged on YouTube. Uh, so. The old Hunter. <laughs> I went to school with a girl whose last name was Hunt. Mm. And her dad's first name was Mike. Hmm. Yep. Didn't go by Michael. Solid decision. Yep. I, you know what? And honestly, good on him for leaning into it. Double down on it. Yep. Might as well. Oh, I took me a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I got there. It's not yours. <laughs> Are you guys really gonna just? <laughs> you guys really gonna ruin Craven for me? Is that what's happening no, right now? No, not at all. No, Let's because like I was really excited about this, and now I'm just bummed out. These two attacks are insane. So yeah, let's talk about it. Um, five stamina on each side, which we kind of figured. Mm -hmm. yep. Um, uh, medium Me movement. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Oh, medium movement. Size two makes sense. Three threat. Yeah. We all thought it was gonna be four. We yep. we were certainly yeah. committed to a four. Um. Threes across the board on uh, on defenses. Standard. I mean, he is human, yep. so it makes sense. Um, I'm not I'm not mad about that. Let's talk about his attacks now. Uh, I don't know what that word is because it is blurry. Kukri, kukri, kukri strike. It's that club tight. thing, right? It's uh, uh, it's, it's the, the knife. Oh, the knife. Okay. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. Um, it's a range two, strength five. Now, what I do like about it is he just automatically gets one energy. Yeah, there's no. It's not his builder, which mm -hmm. I absolutely love. Um, when the attack is resolved, the character gains the bleed special condition. Yep. No, nothing, no wild. No wild, nothing. But on a wild, he gets, uh, after the attack is resolved, the character may advance small. I yeah. like that may is in there. Yep. May, which is super nice. And uh, anytime that I get additional movement, I'm super on board. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I love extra movement. Um, and then he gets spear thrust. It's a range three, strength four, zero power. We don't often see mm -hmm. two attacks that are both uh, power zero. Correct. Without an ad additional attack that is uh, a spender. Right. Yep. So I super like that. After the attack is resolved, this character gains energy based on the damage dealt. So this is weirdly his builder. Mm -hmm. um, if this character has already attacked the character, the target character, during the activation with the strike above, he adds three dice. Yeah. Insane. Which means his second action. Mm hmm. Um, He's going to get to roll seven. It's a seven, seven, dice. seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, here's my question. All you got. Yes. Does it count as in a new activation or a continuing activation? New activation. Okay. Good call. 
Good call on their part. Because mm-hmm. if he all you got and then gets to do two spear thrusts. Yes. Oh, binky boy. That is terrifying. Um, and then, of course, this character may advance or be placed during the act of, or if he had advanced or been placed during the activation after the attack is resolved, he may advance medium. Yeah. So if he's already moved, he gets to attack. So all over. I kind of like the spirit. A, it's range three. Love range three. Mm-hmm. That is a really nice low range. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the idea that the build. It's still worth taking if you need the movement. Yeah, like you don't have to go with the strike if you don't want the first strike if you don't want to. Mm-hmm. But you get that um, you get that additional movement built in there anyway. If yeah. you just need to get the hell out of there, right? To be able to advance short, medium, and have two attacks in a turn, assuming that you are within range two of a target mm-hmm. at the start of your turn and roll a wild on that first mm-hmm. attack. It's a lot there for me. I don't like it as much as I thought I was going to mm. because there are a lot of requirements to roll specific things that I'm simply not going to. Right. You need one. You need a wild. Yeah. A wild. Yep. A wild on five dice. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, I, I've, I've made teams about sap where I was rolling five, six, eight dice and didn't roll a single sap. I remember several games of me getting salty because all I needed you to do was not roll one thing and you <laughs> did. Listen. But uh, that's only to advance short. With your second, with the spear thrust, you can advance medium. You don't have to roll a wild on that one. Correct. So you do right. still get some happens. kind of movement. Right. Um, I had a... Oh, so when it says you may advance short, you may advance medium, do you have to move the entirety of that movement? No. no. Okay. Nope. That's pretty cool. And I also yeah. will... I will also buffer um, why you're dumb um, by by saying he's a three threat character. Yes. If he was four, I could see your argument. I, I'm not saying he shouldn't have it. I'm just saying that's why I don't like it. That's why you're dumb. Uh, <laughs> he's got some powers. He's so not. we finally figure out what corner of the beast actually is. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, <clears throat> they did describe in the panel to play. Hey. He could roll 12 dice in a single round yep. and be able to make a short and medium movement. Yeah. And then completely seizured while they were describing <laughs> yeah. Corner of the Beast. <laughs> yes. It was it was weird. Um, but for two energy, or two power, I should say, uh, choose an enemy character within range three of this character until the end of the of its next activation, which is super interesting. Mm-hmm. So if the Okay. So that could very well well be two activations. If they haven't gone yet? Kind of. So you the think? goal, I, I believe the reason for that wording is if they have already gone this activation, Craven may go another time before they activate in the next round, depending on how you right. and your opponent activate. So it's there to make sure that until the target activates, that is live and active. Okay. Interesting. Each time the chosen character advances or climbs, it just suffers one damage. Mm-hmm. Um, if the chosen character has wall crawler superpower, it loses wall crawler superpower until the end of its next next activation. That's paralyzing for some <laughs> characters. Yeah. It's paralyzing for pretty much all. I mean, it completely yeah. uh, destroys web warriors. One thing that I'm super curious about is if a character like Toad, Quicksilver, uh, I mean, any of the spider people, mm-hmm. if they are moving over terrain, that is their size or less where they would not normally need to climb or use wall crawler. Do they still count as using wall crawler while moving over that terrain? My, my understanding is no. no, because your movement, it's not just always on your movement. When you are moved, you have to declare your movement first and you have to say, I am climbing or using wall crawler or I'm using flight. Okay. Prior to the movement. I gotcha. believe I could be totally making that up. We're I believe. Joking. Right, but I believe um is it is it Blackfire Productions? Uh he's a YouTube guy uh, up in Canada who streams a ton of Marvel Crisis Protocol stuff. Oh. I believe that was a thing that they had discussed okay. um a while back um about movement stuff. Gotcha. Um and it should also be pointed out that um it's advances or climbs. Yeah. Yes. It's not placement. So web swing does not apply to this. Yes. So or so, hop or hop. Right. So there are ways around it. Um, it or like um, anyone who can teleport. Yep. Yep. Teleport. If it's if it's placement, like place this character within range certain of where its current location, this does not apply. 
Okay. Um, which is super important. Interesting. But two power. That's it. Yeah. It's great. It's 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 super awesome. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's super awesome. I mean, realistically, you could do two of those strikes to guarantee the two of the uh knife strikes. Oh yeah. To just guarantee that you have this at the end of your activation. Yeah. I super love it. And then expert tracker, choose an enemy character. Ally characters roll one additional die uh, attack die when targeting the chosen character with uh, attacks this round. It is three energy, so it's a bit expensive. Um, but man, get one additional die. Super worth it. Yeah, super. So, I mean, just pile yeah. on. Just dog pile. I heavily everybody. prefer that over a uh, reroll. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Um, the trick is going to be remembering it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to assume there will be a fancy die uh, uh, token. Yeah. To like put on like the character. Target. Yep. Yeah. I would assume so. And probably a different, an additional one for corner of the beast. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, I like, I like it. Three power. I think, again, I think it's super balanced to three power mm-hmm. um, because he won't be able to do it every turn. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, and it also depends on who he's running with, right? Like who's going to benefit. I mean, yes, everybody could benefit from this. But where I see it is like if you have a mix of shooters and close combat people. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about everybody just gaining like having to be in range two or range three of the same character. I I think it's super awesome because then you don't have to waste. Yeah. 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 If you have a couple of turrets in the back, I think he's going to be great for turrets. Yeah. Yeah. So very specifically. Yeah. I think he's going to be phenomenal with um say like a scarlet witch or a, a she hulk on the team who mm-hmm. is already rolling an excessive amount of dice yep. um to add that onto that or in say a black order list where you have a very prime execute target mm-hmm. so they are you know getting all of their additional crap to focus fire that one person adding that to both um corvus and proxima in that particular instance just mm-hmm. just stupid good yeah yeah. And then Elixir of Calypso, this character may re-roll one attack die in its attack or defense rolls. Yeah. Or may re-roll one die. Great. Awesome. He's yep. an inhuman. That's sweet. Correct. Yep. Yeah. So um, I super like that. I think he'll be I kind of like him in Web Warriors too. Mm. Like him giving other web warriors, like other people, like Daredevil getting an additional die. Yeah. Super dope. Especially when he's going to go apeshit bananas with all web dub. Mm-hmm. Uh, I super like that. Yeah. Yeah. A lot. Uh, nothing happens on the other side. Um, it's pretty much it. No change. Yeah. No changes. Yeah. He's a solid. He's he will easily become my favorite three three threat character. I can he I feel like he's going to fit a lot into my personal play style, mm-hmm. which is run up and <laughs> punch you in the dick. Right. The old right. dick punch. Yes. Yep. Right in the, the kukri. Yes. Right in the kukri. You know, yeah. Um, I'm not in love with him. I really wish he was going to have a charge or something. I just, I, I need, I feel like stuff. a charge, a charge would make him broken. A bunch of three threats have charges, you know? Yeah, but he has, he has so much extra movement already. Like, I understand what yeah. you're saying, but I think him having a charge would be terrifying. Right. I want him to be terrifying. Get, make, him, make him four threat and give him a charge, you know? But I want him in a three for spider look at those little Look at those little tiger nipple eyes. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, those actually shot lasers. His his the tiger, the tiger eyes. And, is it sh- lion eyes? Maybe I was wrong there, but it's a lion. Yeah. Yeah. It, they shot lasers in the comics. That's right as shit. Yeah. That would turn Spider-Man's blood magnetic or something like that. I don't know. Oh, wow. That was loud. Yeah. In my ears. It scared me. Um. Yeah, I think it, I don't know. I'm I'm super hyped. I mean, as a person who loves spider foes, I'm really excited to see a through threat character. So yeah. shut up, shut up. <laughs> you know. Once again, I'm I'm not saying he's bad or that he's he's stupid. I'm just saying it's I, you're just never gonna play him. I, I want it. more. You know what I mean? Um, may I recommend Killmonger? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, has a charge. Yep. Four threat. Yeah. Also gets additional dice for attacking. Yeah. yeah, I think I just want Killmonger. Yeah, you just want Killmonger. Yep. Yep. There you go. Okay, we figured we it out, it. everybody. We, we did it. <clears throat> um. Okay. Well, great. Any, any other any other thoughts before we move on? While I change my screens. Um, I don't understand the reason to have the loincloth while you're wearing pants. I guess maybe that's just me. It's tribal. Tim. You're, you're and tr- you uncultured swine. It's kind of like. You know why some people like they wear a kilt, but they still wear underwear just because they're not super comfortable just right. letting it all go. Like, 
a loincloth is not super practical uh, for a, a man of his uh, psychoses, <laughs> you know? Maybe he's a, he's maybe he's right. wearing assless chaps. Maybe those aren't pants. Maybe. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe. Just maybe. Boys do like to have fun, too. We were talking about um, dress code. Teachers at my school don't have a formal dress code. It's kind of like just use your brain about it. Assless chaps. And so I told my friend Dave, I was like, and that's why, you know, you're smart enough to know not to wear your assless chaps to work. <laughs> He's like, that's what you think. <laughs> Not without a loincloth. <laughs> right. I got to have a loincloth to protect my dignity. Right. He totally would, too. Um. All right. Let's. So some 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 panel to play happen. Yeah. Yes. Let's talk about the panel to play before we jump okay. into um, some leaked information. Lizard. Yeah. The other yeah. half of Craven. The Glizzard himself. Yes. The old Glizzy. Tactical sewage. Yeah, it was tactical splush and everything. He got a lot of toes. Um, well, he is a lizard. But like in the in the um, like anime, the animation on the panel to play, like it, it looks like an ape's hand, but it's lizardy. So it's like a separate like thumb toe. It doesn't look very lizardy to me. I don't know. Yeah, it's a little bizarre. But anyway, uh, so. He has a lot more than I was expecting they were going to give him. Mm. Like, a lot more. Yeah. So he's got a throw. Mm -hmm. He's got healing factor. Mm -hmm. He also has invulnerability, and that's the first time we've seen this. Uh, healing factor with invulnerability. Uh, is and it's specifically healing factor. Yes, it is healing factor. So he's going to get access, and he's going to get access to Weapon X. Mm -hmm. Which, I get it. I do. Like, because, like, that's just the name of the card. Right. But it bothers me a little bit. And You I, mean exceptional healing? Is that what it's I think the other one is Sabretooth or Wolverine only. Is that Weapon X? Yeah. Okay, so, okay, exceptional healing then. Still bugs me. Yeah. Sorry, it's about as Dan as I'll ever get, but it's still super bugs what me. What bugs you about exceptional healing? The fact that it was never really, because it's called exceptional healing and he's not an X-Man. Uh, oh, he is an X-Man. He's now a lizard man. He was a regular man, so now he is an X-Man as he is currently a lizard man. Depending on where he is in the uh, in the sewage, he could be an eggs man. Yes. Yes. Smelling like eggs. But so I believe he's going to be size three. Sticky. <laughs> <laughs> believe he's going to be size three because they uh, related him to Kingpin and Ultron. Right. Kingpin size three. Yeah. Really? He's a big boy. Listen, no. you don't remember that until someone throws him <laughs> in the coat twice. But. <laughs> There. Super but then fair. you're like, oh yeah, he is size three. Yeah. All right. Do you think that sentence was talking about his size or just the strength of that attack? Of that <sighs> tail attack. That it, uh, and it automatically. Or maybe has a, throw a little a, a little a B. That's a really good point because yeah, the way that that sentence reads is that he could slap aside people as big as Kingpin or Ultron, which most likely means he could push people of size three or smaller. Right, with that thick tail. Um, it is thick, yeah. dummy thick. Um, he gets a cold blooded attack and strength seven. Mm -hmm. And if it inflicts damage, the target also suffers bleed and slow. Mm. I feel like we've seen a lot of characters recently that when they do something, it inflicts two conditions. Like they're trying to throw in shitty conditions because no one wants them on a single attack. Right. Unless they're Viper. And then you just give her all of the crappy, um, conditions yeah. all on separate things that cost power to use mm -hmm. but bleed and slow i kind of dig i like bleed a lot and if it doesn't need a while it just needs to have damage done on a strength seven i'm all about it mm -hmm. and the fact that they gave him a throw too he just mm -hmm. has so much going on what a solid character um i'm assuming i would not be shocked at um five threat yeah. For all this. Especially, like you said, he can reduce the damage the damage that he suffers. He's got the healing factor. He's got a strength seven attack. Like, that's some powerhouse stuff. I think he's going to be a four threat. Hmm. And the reason being is I think this is all we're going to see on his card. Mm. Um, so it's going to be limited. And I think stat-wise, he's going to be three two two. 
I so okay. legitimately I could see the yep. the two two for you sure. Balance that out, yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Maybe I think a lower health too, because he has invulnerability and healing right. factor. Maybe he's not like a six seven. Maybe he's right. a five five. Yeah. Now invulnerability is pay one energy to reduce your damage by one. No, uh, just automatically reduces usually it. Usually an eight, yeah, to, to a minimum to a minimum one. Of one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's only two situations in which we've seen reducing damage not to a minimum of one, and it is Thanos' specific invulnerability, mm-hmm. and then things like um, King Pan. near to pain. Yep, with right. crossbones and uh, King Pan. Right. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, I, I, I mean, I, I love him. I'm really excited. Yeah. I mean, between I so it's looking like I assume he'll have wall crawler too. That would make sense. It would make sense. Yeah. yeah. It's looking like the way spider foes, now that they are starting to flush out and we're actually seeing what they can do. Mm-hmm. Um, minus Mysterio, who looks like he's going to kind of be your mystic backup de- defense guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're all meat grinders. Yes. That they are going, like getting near them is going to be terrifying. And that you are going to have to try to outrun them. But if you're playing gamma waves like you're you are screwed which as we've seen from the xavier protocol stuff is one of the most popular yeah. choices yeah so it's weird it's scary and weird mm-hmm. um all right let's talk about some leaked stuff now yeah uh so we got the panel to play on captain america but the card got leaked yeah um and just the crispest quality i've ever seen amg if you're listening um <laughs> uh but sam wilson stepping up the new Captain America. Yeah. yeah. Replacing old Fleet Bag Rogers. I don't know where I was going with that. Old I just wanted, crotchety. Yeah. You know, yeah. Old, old crusty himself. You know, AARP America. Those <laughs> yes. Mouth crusty Steve mm. Rogers. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's hot. And that like sticky spit that they get. Just hanging out yeah. in a diner for seven hours mm-hmm. drinking coffee uh, every like day, talking to the same four people. Ugh. Yeah. It sounds horrible. Yeah. Um, so he's five, uh, five stamina, long move. Yeah, yeah, love a long move. It's a fly boy. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, strength or uh, size to three threat. Mm-hmm. Already better. Yep. Um, <laughs> already better than normal Captain America. Um, threes across the board. Yep. Which are, which is great. Um, his first attack is shield throw, which is uh, his. He just again we have another only gains one ability, or only gains one energy, but it's guaranteed. Yeah, no, I, I like that. This is the first shield throw we've seen that actually gains power. So this is a solid right. builder. And because it has ricochet, can potentially gain more. Can potentially gain more, yes. Um, if it damages, if it deals damage to the target size. I'm assuming it's going to be size two. It um, is glared out in the uh, picture that was uh my assumption would be size two because I think that it's it's the same thing. No, uh, so the other ones don't have the move. Don't have the push. So I've got oh, really? um, yeah. oh, okay. Steve Rogers up here if you want a little comparison here. Yeah. Um, yeah, his shield throw, yeah, it doesn't have any kind of move. It's just got um it ignores line of sight. Nobody benefits from cover, and it's got the ricochet and a wild on the Steve Rogers card. Oh, yeah. Okay. Throw. His his is fat and thick compared uh, to uh what's uh, the strength on it? Four. Also, also four. Also yep. four. Okay. Range four? Yep. Yep. Oh, so he's just better. Yeah, so it's it's all around better. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So so power creeps and that thing. Cool. Um, and then red red wing I mean, assault. It's really not. Yeah. Uh, when you look at the uh, the defenses, I mean, he has thirty three percent less physical and energy defense. Than yeah. Cap yes, and Steve also Rogers can't four three. You know, do this all day. He gets tired. You know. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He's a sleepy sleepy boy. Steve Rogers does have strike though as another builder if you wanted. Yeah. Strength five builder. Sure. But can he fly? No. Okay. Well, no. there you go. No. All right. Same. You, you got me. Can Just he move can he move long? Medium. Yeah, exactly. What a bitch. Right? <laughs> um like, if your Captain America doesn't fly, like yeah, what, like, are, what are you doing? doing? Right. Um and then he's got red wing assault. It's a range three, strength six, four energy though. Mm-hmm. That is yeah, That's that is pricey. Pricey. That is, is stacked. Um, if the attack deals damage, 
deals damage and the target character is size three or less. Um, after the attack is resolved, the character may be thrown away uh, short or yeah. small. So he gets a he gets a throw in there mm-hmm. if he does damage, which is kind of cool. So I thought this was like the little bird thing that pops off his back. Apparently, this is him just literally beating you with his wing. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably him, you know, <clears throat> nose diving you with the shield out and like, you know, really slamming into you. So you bounce right. into yeah. a buddy. But the fact that he can do that to like literally anyone outside of the largest characters in the game. Right. Yeah. Uh, super sweet. I did not expect him to have a size three throw. Yeah. And so he can throw them away. And then after that, he can be placed within two of his current position. So Which chuck them away. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. And the super cool thing is because of the way you get to choose how these things happen, both of them happen after the attack is resolved. So you can choose the order. Mm. So you could teleport first and then throw him if you really needed to get him somewhere else or right. throw him and then teleport somewhere near where you've thrown him. Yeah. Love it. No, the throw has to go first. Yes, it is. They're both after the attack. Is you resolved. have to throw the character away before you move. No, they both happen after the attack is resolved. You get to choose which um, thing happens, functions in what order you want it to. If it was before damage was dealt, which is how a lot of the throws do work, that would be accurate. But this one is specifically after the attack is resolved. The target character may be thrown away from this character short. So, you, so he can move range two and then you can opt to throw him the wrong direction than from what the original attack was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. That sounds wrong. That sounds like it's going to get FAQ'd really quick. Hey, so it very well could. Yeah. And maybe yeah. that's why they, you know, didn't necessarily want this card to come out. Granted, his builder doesn't cost power like sins did. Right. But you never know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fair. Um I for four energy, I wish there was no cap on the throw. And I mean, range two is not that not that big. No, it's not. Um, yeah. But it's not bad. But for four energy, it just I don't know. I mean, it is range three, which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, um, because realistically speaking, you could just be just inside range three and then bounce back two to get yourself out of range. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The the it sounds like this is going to be a, a something that needs to be FAQ day one of the order. Like maybe they will specify. Look, this is the order it has to. You have to do the throw, then you have to do the movement. It could, mm. yeah. Because I mean, you know, officially we do not have this card yet, so right, very well could change. But I love the fact that they both happen after the attack is resolved. But that right. would also be a very quick FAQ of change after the attack is resolved to before damage is dealt. Right. And it, it doesn't change anything other than that. Correct. So. Yep. Yeah. Little goofy. Little goofy on their part. But we got a new affiliation. Yes. For Avengers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, when the character, when this character or an ally character is dazed or KO'd, choose another non-dazed character. The chosen character removes one damage, removes one special condition, and may advance small. Yeah. Um, a character can be affected by this leadership ability only once per round. Yeah. Uh, yeah, gross. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be playing Avengers from now on is what you're saying? I mean, (laughs) no, I'm not in love with that one as much as I want because you get one damage taken off of you. Mm -hmm. You get one special condition taken off of you and you get to advance small. Yes. Or short. It rewards poor play. If my characters are being dazed, then I am not doing what I should be. I would prefer to be able to use my affiliation. Listen, they're going to get dazed. Kingpin will be thrown into toe. <laughs> right. Valkyrie will be taken off the off the board before, you know, ha- halfway through the second round. But I would like to be able to use my affiliation ability earlier. And I don't want it to come at the expense of me losing somebody. Mm. See, so you say that, which I find really interesting. Mm-hmm. Because the way I see it is I'm taking Sam, She-Hulk, Mm-hmm. And then a bunch of two threat characters. Yep. Yep. And using them literally as cannon fodder to just fuel the machine that is She-Hulk. Here's why I don't feel like <laughs> I love that, by the way. <laughs> but here's why I don't feel like that's going to work out for the best. If you bring a bunch of two threat characters, they aren't going to have damage on them. They will be at full health and then they will be dazed. You won't be removing Not unless damage you get up from in people. Their, you're getting up in their face with them. Well. I'm just saying, 
Like the the odds of Nebula, Wong, Toad just sim- simply dying in a single hit, uh, pretty up there. Yeah. So the but, ability to but if you play the game correctly, and then you bring crises with you that deal damage when you're on, uh, when you're on objectives, and then put your two threat characters on those objectives, so you are automatically just picking your own. So then you make your opponent choose. Am I going to let you score this point or are you going to come kill me? So it seems like a lot of work to remove one damage from a two threat character. I like I like getting rid of that special condition on a character that you're going to throw special conditions on me. So I do. So yeah, I mean, we can I, keep going back and forth. No, That's no, no. cool. I'm, listen, <laughs> little bitch boy. <laughs> so uh, uh, Terrigen Mists. Mm-hmm. I, I really like that. Right. Um, at the start of the round, you're getting some damage. You're getting the poison mm-hmm. condition, being able to remove both of those when Black Widow uh, eventually eats it in the face. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I see that. Mm-hmm. Getting being able to get rid of stagger um, instead of losing an action and losing the activation of another character who's been dazed or KO'd. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Um, it just deep down in my soul. It makes me nervous to be excited about my characters being based. Right. I only expect that. It's ironic. Mm. I only I'm just like, how can I kill these guys faster? Like, right. I need to get home and have relations with my wife. How do I make this happen faster? Oh, you know, it's super fair. Yeah. Uh, he's, I, and hey, he's got a charge. I do love charge. You know what I mean? So like, why would you not be burying him every game? Two actions for an action. I adore it. I love yep. it. It's one of my favorite things. Yeah. Uh, and then his. Probably one of the coolest powers we've seen yet. Uh, airlift. Yes. Mm. Thank you. Uh, two energy. Uh, during the activation, when this character begins a movement within range two of another allied character, size two or less, he may use the superpower. After the movement action is resolved, you may place this character within range two of its current position. The superpower can only be used once per turn. It's drop off light, baby. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, I'm super hyped here for it. So I can't wait to hear this. Here's the super secret tech. You ready? Uh-huh. You've brought your 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 range or your threat to characters, right? Uh-huh. You want them to die because yeah. you want that additional movement and you want to be able to remove those conditions. Uh-huh. So you airlift Toad with you uh-huh. as you get up there, you drop Toad off right next to Kingpin. Then you Red Wing Assault Kingpin and throw him right into Toad to kill him or daze him so that then you can heal yourself up a little bit and uh, finger guns and uh, short move away. Right. I mean, there's literally nothing. Yeah, it's all coming for a circle now. Right. There's literally nothing that says you can't throw your, your enemy characters into your characters. Accurate. I'm really here for it. I'm super hyped for I'm it. I'm all about it. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I also don't have Captain America, so it'll be fun to actually finally have one. Oh, that's true. You can finally play an Avengers affiliation. Yeah, I could. Realistically. Okay, nice. That'd be fun. Oh, then he's got Vibranium Shield. Uh, spend two when you, this character is targeted by a physical or energy attack. Uh, he may use a superpower and add two dice to his defense rolls. That's, that's the a, same as Sieve. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yep. That's same power level. Long ton of stuff for threat mm-hmm. three character yep yeah i love it yeah power creeps on a thing man you know mm. uh and then a little flippy flip uh nothing changes nothing changes nope cool he literally cannot do this all day yes that is true right so uh, unlike unlike steve rogers he can't do this all day because uh quite frankly he has places to be he does right he's got to be on your left mm-hmm. right right exactly um, this Captain America knows how to use a cell phone. You know what I mean? Like he's got stuff to do. Uh-huh. Right, right, exactly. He's 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 got to he's got to be there for Bucky and talk him off the goddamn cliff. You know what I mean? He's got to go get money for his family's shrimp boat. <laughs> right, right. He, he can't live off a pension from being in the army for two hundred years. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. Bullshit. Bro- broken fucking system. Right. Uh huh. Ridiculous. Talk about a deadbeat, Steve Rogers. Mm. It's milking mm. the system. Yep. Mm-hmm. We're going to get so much hate mail. <laughs> Team Iron Man, baby. That's America's ass. Oh, fuck yeah. Team <laughs> it is America's ass. <sighs> There's like a little, like a pin of that. And Dan, his uh, lanyard for his school keys, he's got like pins on it. It's like his flair. I want to get him the America's ass so bad. 
I would wear it yeah. at work. Mm-hmm. Dan will not wear it. I'm like, bro, you're tenured. It's unpatriotic. Mm-hmm. Wear that America's ass with pride. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I might get it for myself. I would. Yeah. Treat yourself. That's what's going to happen. You're tenured. You're fine. Fire me. Yeah. What's tenured? It means you have 10 years in. It means you can't be fired unless yeah. you like, diddle a kid. Like that's pretty much it. And then they just yeah. move you to a different school. It's a super broken system that they established like back in the day for college professors. If you had a different like political opinion, you couldn't just be fired for that. So it was kind of like job security. Now that we do it in the public school system, it's kind of like once you put in your time. For me, when I first started, it was three years in and you could be granted tenure. Now it's four years. Um, once, yeah, once you get it. Just don't physically assault a student in any way. And it's very hard to get fired. Mm -hmm. Very, very hard. That sounds. Yeah. Like I worked with a woman who literally pulled a girl's hair and chucked a basketball at her face because she was coaching her. Nice, Jim. And they they stuck her in the closet underneath the stairs and gave her like stupid bullshit work to do. Yeah. And they did that long enough. She got sick of it. So she retired early. You effectively get in school suspended. Like they just put you alone by yourself. Oh, they go and put you in the bus depot. Yeah. 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 If you were the principal of a school and mm-hmm. then you get sent to the the bus stop. They gave guy. her like educational textbooks and she just had to copy it into a notebook. That was the work that they gave her. It was tedious and awful. I don't feel bad, though, because that woman when I was she was the librarian when I was in school there. She smacked me on the ass with a stack of papers in front of one of my classes and the look on their faces. Well, I mean, to be fair, hilarious. she pulled the girl's hand through a basketball at her. I know. Well, well nice. she smacked my ass before all that happened. Right. I know. But, but I had my smoothie. A, if it was a male teacher. Right. And he shoved balls into a student's <laughs> face. Uh-huh. And would have been their a different, hair. And would have been a different outcome. Yeah. I'm, right. Yeah. I got threatened to get fired because I uh, cooked too much pasta today. So where does that put me? You know, mm. Jesus, be not, quite sure, not quite tenured, not quite tenured. No. There. All right. No. You know who is tenured? War machine. Hell <laughs> yeah. True. You know, segue. let's talk about James Rhodes himself. Oh, uh, Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes. Take me home. No, that's country roads. Sorry. Uh, He can walk. That's cool. No, he can't. <laughs> no, he can't. His legs are gone. <laughs> um, War Machine. Uh, so, uh, so five stamina on both sides. Yeah. What is with mech suits uh, or, or suits in general just not getting hardly anything? Um, medium move, because I realize how much space there is on this card compared to old yeah, right? flyby oh, over there. Yeah. Section yeah. Is blank. Um, size two, three threat. I do like that. He's mm-hmm. the same as Iron Man, which mm-hmm. is super dope. Four three three. Same defenses. Same defenses, which is great. Um, b- b- builder, right off the bat. Uh, Metal Storm. Uh, beam, a beam builder. A beam builder, which old, I love. The old B three. Yeah, a little beam builder. Five. Uh, he gets energy when the dealt on a wild. He gets bleed. I feel like that's kind of weird. Yeah, but I guess like it's just he's just unloading bullets into you yeah just boxes of bullets it's like a storm of metal yeah it's interesting that he gets a beam but iron man doesn't get a beam yes like so iron man does get a beam on his injured side oh that he has okay. to pay for right but it, yeah you yeah. pay for it and it's i mean it's worth it but i mean your builder to be- being able to apply bleed and be a beam right. is fucking yeah dope yeah. right i mean again power creeps not a thing um pocket pods pocket rockets the old pod Ooh. rocks yeah uh range four strength four and he has a barrage yep not a berserker one though correct just a normal everyday barrage after this attack is resolved this character may make additional rocket pod attacks um this attack must target another character within range two, which is super interesting mm-hmm. of the original target. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's an explosion, essentially. It's the old prey and spray. Yep. Um, this additional attack does not generate additional attacks. Right. So you can't just keep this going. Right. Which otherwise is, it would be indefinite. Otherwise it'd be super broken. Um, I like it. Yeah. I mean, he's I mean, it's great because he's essentially getting additional attack. Yeah. 
Yeah. And this is great because like in our game, Tim and I, we were like super clustered on the center objective. Mm -hmm. This would be beautiful to use. Oh, a absolutely have characters. Yeah. Into a yeah throw a beam and then throw the rockets. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, although, uh, I mean, it's range four versus a beam three. Like right. I, I'm, I'm always probably going to go for the beam every time. But yeah, if they're just out of range and I don't want to waste a movement to get within that range of a beam. Yeah. Then I can see why rockets would be worth it. Or if you really do need to hit somebody behind, you know what I mean? Like, cause it just, it just happens. Right. You don't need anything um, qualifying for it, which I feel like it needs to be on a wild. If he's a three threat. Uh, at strength four, and it has to be a separate target because a lot of flurries and uh, rapid fire strikes target the original target, which means you're always going to have that original target there unless you've killed them. And mm -hmm. in which case, Hey, you already won. Um, so I don't think that Rocket Pods is going to get used as often as we think it does. I think you're going to be metal storming an awful lot. Mm. Mm, maybe. And there's empty the clip. Yes. Which I right off the bat, I love the name. It is range three strength, strength eight. Yeah. Four energy, uh, four power. When rolling additional dice for criticals. Yep. Results during the attack. Roll two additional dice instead of one. So double explosions. Yes. On eight dice. On eight dice. Um, after the attack is resolved, this this character suffers one damage for each critical that he rolls. <laughs> yeah. Which I super love. Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is rough. Yeah, this is rough for McGovers. Uh, War Machine. No one will do more damage to War Machine than War Machine. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Like, You're absolutely not wrong. I, I love that. Mm -hmm. uh, because he has titanium armor plating as well, uh, so he does have an invulnerability uh, reduced right. damage to by one to a minimum of one, and mm -hmm. that's it. I mean, it's that in flight, but that's that empty the clip. I mean, it's all or nothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I I know you. You're gonna go for it every time. Oh, every time. Yeah, every time. Which is like I find it funny sometimes mm -hmm. the way you think. Yeah, because. You literally are going to daze or KO your own character. Yep. When you literally just said previously, like 10 minutes ago, uh -huh. I don't like strategies where I'm going to be dazing my own characters. Uh, yes. Explain yourself. So on this one. Sure. Massive difference here. Number really? one, I'm getting eight dice. I don't like to roll four dice because I'm going to be fishing for something I'm not going to get. On eight dice, chances are I'm probably going to get a couple crits. And from the way I read armor plating, it's whenever I would say, oh, from an enemy effect. An Never enemy. mind. Yep. So, so yeah. So the armor plating doesn't help me not blow myself up. But if I am killing myself, that means I rolled a bunch of crits. That's generating twice the amount of dice as damage I'm doing to myself. The chances of me overwhelming my opponent while also overwhelming myself is fine. I'm great if I can get average or equal results for my enemy as, as I get for myself. So in that part, I'm fine. Because I can spend three threat to hopefully blow some other motherfucker up. And if I blow up myself at the same time, who cares is only three threat. And you're still going to do more damage to whoever you're attacking than yourself. Most, or at least equal to. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so. Potentially, yeah. How mad are you going to be? Real quick. Oh, when I do this, blow myself up and the other person just rolls all aces on their fucking defense dice and I do significantly more hey, myself than them. <laughs> that, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Um, how mad are you going to be? Let's say you get uh, you get two criticals. Um, so that means you get to generate four additional dice. Yeah. And those all roll criticals. So they don't explode, but now you're taking uh, six damage. Uh, so here's how I see Did this I happening. Math? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. Um, that will happen. Yeah, absolutely. And it will be when I need to do two damage. Yep. Because uh, I, I looked back. I, I went back in the archives and I looked oh. at my spikes. Mm -hmm. And they were always needless. I could do eight damage when I needed to do two. And that was when I would spike. I needed to block one damage uh, in my game against Danny. And I roll all crits. <laughs> and then I rolled some of those into crits too. But I only needed to block a single damage. I spike hard. But not when it's useful. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree really hard with that statement. Well, uh, is he lying or joking? Yeah, well. He's got flight. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, when he flips, literally nothing changes. Yeah. I kind of would have liked to have seen him change. I don't know how or why or 
Yeah. Whatever. I feel like it's like anticlimactic if they don't flip, like change with the flip. Yeah. No? Yeah. I <clears throat> I would like to, I, I, I'm kind of on the fence about it, I guess, really. But I like the idea of characters when they flip, they get better. Mm-hmm. When they get additional abilities or, or something like that. But then I always think like, oh, I don't want to have to remember more stuff. Right. right. You know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's really true. I could see it on Iron Man or War Machine, them getting worse. Maybe losing flight because their suit's damaged. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Lowering the movement, potentially, uh, from medium to short. Something along those lines. I think that makes more sense on them than a, a, like a regular dude. Wolverines makes total sense. You flip him and he gets crazier. He can't hold objectives, things like right. that. I love mechanics like that that right. really fit them. I would like to yeah. see a situation where <clears throat> like suits, when they flip, they get an ability. It costs energy where they can uh, they can or no, maybe not even not even cost energy, but essentially get um, no matter the costs built into their card where they can just like start draining the energy of their suit to try to build up their last attack as like a last ditch effort. Mm. I like that a lot. Yeah. yeah, I thought you were gonna go like suicide button. Oh, so I was all about it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, also, but also, yeah. You know, that'd be I mean, cool. eject. You know, legless mm-hmm. roadie out, <laughs> out the top. Yep. Blow up the war machine thing. Oh, do man. two automatic damage to anyone within range two or something. Mm-hmm. I yeah. think that's baller as hell. Yeah. That would be an awesome tactics card too. Yeah. I, and we don't know. Yeah. We didn't. We didn't see tactics cards, so it's totally possible. Mm-hmm. Um. Anything else? Is that it? That's all we got this week. Yeah. Here at the Professional Casual Network. A lot of news. Danny, any changes to your league roster? Um, I am going to plead the fifth on that because I don't have a roster yet. I just know the affiliations I'm taking. Oh, gotcha. So I still have to sit down. You're going Asgard and... Asgard and A-Force. Uh, uh, the A-Holes. The A-holes. There's a lot of good crossover there. Yeah, yeah there I'm yeah. super stoked about Originally, it. I was thinking... Guardians and Inhumans, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but I don't have any of my Inhumans together yet, and I don't see me getting them done because uh, we got other stuff coming out. Yeah, uh, on the eleventh. Mm-hmm. Um, so there goes all my free time. Yeah, for a while. Um, and then uh, I chose Guardians because like nobody else was playing Guardians, right? And then and now you're like, hey, I'm gonna play Guardians because uh, it's the only thing I can do. So it's like, and I, I just, I'm very much like, I'm very much like Tim. I make up rules that don't exist okay. um, and then hold myself strictly to them only. Okay. Um, so I said, I don't want to re, I don't want to try to repeat affiliations if I can help it. Okay. Um, and now you have decided to play guardian. So now there goes guardians. Mm-hmm. So Asgard's off the table. Cause originally I was going to go web warriors Asgard. Mm-hmm. That's off the table. Yeah. Um, I thought about going guardians Asgard. That's off the table. Um, web warriors are still available. I think. Yeah. Yep. I could go web warrior. You could. The old they tried. work out for you pretty well. No, they don't. I have never won with them. Thank you <laughs> for that. That's... Now is your time to shine. Yeah. No, the no, they are not yeah. my. They are not my style of play, regardless of how hard I try. Um, I was also thinking since you're not doing crime syndicate now, I really liked playing crime syndicate the yeah. other day. Yeah. Um, so I might do them. I haven't seen yeah. it's free too. I don't. Ha- I literally don't have half the stuff, but like painted up oh, for okay. Brotherhood. You want to use some of mine? No. Okay. I don't really like how they were painted. So <laughs> it's like a, <laughs> I wasn't really impressed with them, to be honest. Fair. Yeah. Um. So I. I don't know. We'll see. Uh. But that being said. Scotty, my boy. No one's playing Avengers. Dan is. Dan's playing oh. Avengers. What's yeah. Dan playing? I thought he was playing X Force and Avengers. Avengers. Oh, X Force Avengers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because some somehow all the X Force are going to be out in time for him. As for usually gets whatever he wants, you know. It's he like, absolutely. I mean, look at me. He absolutely does. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> um. Boom. Cabal. <laughs> you could play. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah. I've never actually played Cabal. Hmm that's the hard like you have enough experience with the game i feel like you playing an affiliation that you're not familiar with like it yeah. won't be such a detriment because you're comfortable enough and you know the characters i'm still so scared like i have to go with what i'm comfortable right with what i know but i also didn't want to learn learn a new i didn't want to learn a new affiliation locked in on it you know what i mean yep um but sense. i'm i'm i don't know maybe i'll think about it yeah i'm gonna think yeah. about it 
I might go. I mean, if you're not going Crime Syndicate, I'm, I'm probably just going to take Crime Syndicate. Yeah. And maybe I'll just play Mono. Mono Crime. Their list, their fucking roster is big enough. It's yeah. enormous. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If you were going to go one affiliation, that would be the one to go. Yeah. And their that. affiliation ability is fucking rad. Yeah, you it's know? really good. Oh, especially yeah, especially very with really not useful. So right. Good. Especially with how um the crisis cards play out for league for the league itself. Mm-hmm. Um is really interesting. So yeah. Yeah, yeah maybe I will. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, let me know when you decide to do them so I can switch to them. No. Just don't say anything. I'm not. Just I'm gonna, don't. I'm gonna show up unaffiliated. I'm, this is canon. I'm I'm Criminal go syndicate. I'm gonna ghostwriter machine. Oh, no one's doing Defenders. I really don't like Doctor Strange. Oh, yeah, that's super fair. Yeah. It's like a shitty Wanda. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> at this point, at this rate. Um, yeah. yeah, it's kind of weird that I'm missing in Defenders. Plus, Luke Cage and uh, Iron Fist probably won't be out by then. Mm. And I would really like to bring them if I was going to bring Defenders. Yeah. Absolutely, for sure. True Believers. Scotty, my boy. Um... Thank you for joining us. Check us out. Twitch.tv slash professional casual network here on YouTube or head over to professional casual dot com. Use. Uh, nope. There's no promo code there. Uh, but you can type them in. <laughs> you, could try. Do you, could send her out. you never know. Yeah. Head over to builtbar.com. Get all of your built bar needs. Promo code professional casual at checkout. 10% off rep sports. Get raise energy or any supplements. They got supplements now. Yep. Oh, sweet. Um, professional casual. All one word at checkout. Powders, pills and poppers. I, st- I want to start taking creatine, so I'll have to I, check them out. Yeah. Yeah. That's creatine. Yeah. You gotta drink a lot of water. You do. That's but right. your muscles get real hard. They do. It's awesome. No, I like me a hard muscle. Right. Mm. And Bear Dragon Games online. Head over to Bear Dragon Games and use promo code PCME10. Get yourself 10% off your order. Till next week. True believers. Bye. Bye.